Good morning. Morning. Uh, I'm sorry there hasn't been a whole lot of content coming from Portugal, but we've just we've been busy with this adult stuff, and I promise there's tons of photography coming up on the channel coming up. It's 4:49 in the morning, and there's some photography coming up. I'm uh, heading to Lagos, which is where we bought our apartment, and we're gonna do some landscape photography, and then maybe I'll show you around a little bit. So I'm sure you can probably only see my outline because uh, it's still dark, but the moon's out a little bit, so uh, I think that's helping a little bit as well. I'm here on Ponche de Piaget, which is just like basically, it's basically in Lagos. And uh, there's tons of photo locations just here by itself. I've photographed a bunch of them before, but to be honest, today I'm kind of feeling like fatigued mentally from all like this all this adulting with the house. So I think I'm just gonna go to like a big overview viewpoint that I found on the map and uh, see if we can make a photo there. I'm out on, uh, on the point and it is so beautiful here. So beautiful, there's all these crazy sea stacks all over the place. There's a lot of arch rocks. Ideally, and in general, I'd normally get down like on to the ground level and get a photo down. But I kind of just, like I said, I want to do kind of a vista today, a big overview shot. Um, it's beautiful this way. It's even more beautiful that way. But the problem is there's a big, huge hotel right in the frame. And I'm not sure I want that. There's probably not going to be a good sunrise this morning because there's a lot of haze on the horizon. So I think to combat that, I'm just going to start shooting early. Uh, it's still a half an hour until sunrise. And yeah, I'm going to bust the camera gear out and start taking some pictures. The wind is really picked up and I'm standing right on this cliff edge. Um, it's a nice composition to be honest, it's not mind blowing but it's nice. I've got this really beautiful sea stack with a tiny little arch off in the distance. There's actually an arch on uh, the beach right down below that the camera can't see and I've just marked this on my map as a location to get back to because it does look like there's a scramble trail to get down to this beach and then that really cool arch and I think that there's probably an amazing photo to be made there but I'm gonna save it for when I come back next time which will probably be November I think because um, that does look like a really cool photo but as I said I don't feel like working that hard this morning so I've got this photo I'm doing a vertical crop uh, portrait crop because you know I like my portrait orientation photos and yeah it all kind of looks nice I just would like some light to catch these clouds so I need to wait a little bit longer It's not looking great from a light perspective. It's one of those situations that looks great to the eye, I think. But yeah, it just in general, it doesn't really photograph all that well. Um, I don't think the light's gonna happen, but the location is really cool. And I think even when you don't get light in locations like this, there's so many ways that you can simplify photography and still get great images. So I've switched on the 24 to 70 millimeter and I'm shooting a little bit longer and just isolating some of these sea stacks and using a longer exposure to really, really get you know, a still water, a really smooth water. And I think it's coming out cool despite the lack of light. I'm gonna sit here, hang out for a little bit longer and see what happens with the light. But considering the fact there's been no color at all and it doesn't look like there's gonna be color, I think I've already snapped off an image or two I like this morning. So yeah, it's going well. Okay, the sun's just come up off the horizon and as expected, there's no real light in the sky. 
Um, there's a little bit of color on some clouds, but it's a really thin line across the horizon. But I do think this image is working, not necessarily because it's a brilliant shot, but just the way the light's coming across the sea and hitting the side of the sea stack, it's working like kind of like a key light would um, that was kind of side or backlit in a portrait or studio shot. And it's lighting up the edge of the sea stack in a really beautiful way. And so with this isolated shot at, uh, what am I shooting? F16 because I want to slow down the shutter a little bit and then 15 seconds I get really smooth water I get this really beautiful sea stack I get some sea stacks in the distance and a few clouds in the sky are really working out Hindsight, I probably should have just shot this location. This is Praia do Camilo, I think. Camila, Camila, Praia do Camila. Praia, it's a beach. And it's really beautiful. I photographed it from the steps when I was here three years ago, but it's such a beautiful spot from up here. And uh, yeah, I think it would have made a really nice vista, a really simple vista. There's a couple of people down taking pictures on the beach. I've seen three or four photographers out here this morning. Yeah, it's a photographer's paradise in this area. Whenever I talk about my ideal place to live, I'm always talking about having a little bit of variety and having a blend of city and nature. And Lagos, I think, is perfect for that. In similar ways, maybe not to the same extreme as Cape Town. Cape Town, you have the city, and then you have beaches, and then you have the mountains. Here, you don't really have the mountains, but you've got the city, you've got the old town, which is really beautiful, and then you've got all these beaches strung out along here. From like the old town, there's like 20 beaches within a 10 minute walk. It's crazy. So um, yeah, I'm walking down now. I've left my camera gear at the car. This is like the beach that's closest to town right here. And then the river flows in to the marina and I'm gonna walk along the marina and then show you old town. And then maybe I'll even show you the apartment that we bought. This is the old town. It's really quiet right now because, well, it's seven in the morning. And I love this old town. This was kind of like the game changer for us walking around here because yes, it's an old town, but it's got a really young vibe. It's got a huge surf community. There's a backpacker community. There's hostels, tons of restaurants, cafes. There's lots of like hipsterish places to eat. I think the tourism board said there was something like 300 restaurants. But on top of all that, both Jody and I kind of saw Lagos as a place where we were inspired to create other businesses even. So for example, I could see myself opening a gallery here, like a small shop like this, turning it into a place that people can come and check out photos or I can set up my office. People can come say hi to me if you come to Portugal. So you can always tell when something's old town in Europe by cobbled streets. So I'm standing on cobbled streets right now, and then now I'm not. So this is officially the edge of old town. That building under construction over there, that's our apartment. So essentially it's like 10 meters from old town. Uh, it's probably like 10 minutes, maybe five minutes to like where the good restaurants are and stuff like that. It's still under construction. Jody and I, one of the reasons we bought now was because this building's not gonna be done until like March or April, which is when we're gonna start to think about like actually building the base. So it kind of just worked out. So to give you guys a reference, this is the building in which we bought an apartment and there's a duplicate apartment, I, essentially just a different block that's already basically done just over here. And uh, it looks absolutely beautiful. We checked out a show home. It looks awesome and I'm really stoked about it. And yeah, somebody just yelled hello and I don't know where that came from. Try. 
I'm super stoked about this. That, like I said, that's the apartment there. Um, I'm gonna walk back to the car now and call this an episode. I just need to say that one of the things that makes me so excited about Portugal is how welcoming the Portuguese people have been, not only here in person, but just in the community, in the YouTube community as well. I've gotten so many messages from Portuguese people saying, welcome to our country. And it just, it's so good. It's so nice to have that kind of reception. So on that note, Thank you, Portugal. And we're just like super stoked to make this our home. So um, that's it. I'm gonna fly now back to the UK where I got a couple episodes before heading to Sri Lanka and then Mongolia. Crazy times coming up. I'll see you guys there. Peace.